on my marriage. <laughs> and, um, you know, my wife has just lost faith in me as a husband, as a provider. And, um, you know, her favorite line is, I just can't trust you anymore. Trust. Trust in making money or achieving what I, you know, set out to do. And um, I went to the States for eight months, and that was a failure. Ended up spending more money than making. Um, my wife has basically supported me for, you know, over a year. When I came back, um, I finally got this job uh, this year, early part of this year. But last year, I didn't have any work. And, um, you know, I put so much time and effort into my startup, you know, open startups, found ups, and nothing happened. And now I'm doing another startup. She just can't believe it. She can't trust it. You know, we've been married five, well, longer, six years. And, um, and how can you be in a relationship where there's no trust? You know, so she wants me just to get make more money, work more nine to five, and make more money. Um, whereas I'm applying my free time to trying to get um, my green startup going. And learning about chickens and about farming and about bees and you know and this stuff it isn't making money overnight it's gonna take you know five six years um, probably if I'm lucky maybe I'll make money next year I don't know but um, ultimately I need land and she wants to buy a little plot of land expensive and throw an expensive house on it and be a slave to the mortgage and to debt and everything else and um, I would rather find a super super cheap land build a super super cheap house on it and um, have enough land so I could farm and do chickens and do you know, bees, and have land to give to my children. And our philosophy is fundamentally different. She wants to do everything how everyone else does it. I don't. And, um, you know, and she wants me to divorce her, but I'm not going to divorce her. If she wants to divorce me, she divorced me, you know. Um, I'm going to keep doing what I want to do. And that is you know, doing what I can for my kids because 20 years from now, her job isn't going to, I mean, maybe not even 20, 10 years from now, her job is going to be, I think, meaningless. 10 years, just 10 years. And I believe that those people who can provide for themselves, who has land to do farming and other things, are in the best position to survive and weather through the hardship. Those that do not are going to be screwed. I don't care how good your job is. The world is changing. What we've known for the last 200 years or 100 years, really since the Industrial Revolution, 150 years, is changing. So, you know, I will have inheritance from my father. Not a ton, not a huge amount. And I want to invest that inheritance so it could potentially provide a return. Throwing it into a house that ultimately the moment you step in it loses value, okay, is not is not an investment of money. And she doesn't understand that, right? She doesn't understand anything when it comes to business, when it comes to, you know, um, and she doesn't trust me in my decisions. So, you know, that's where I'm at with my wife. She's a great woman. She's a great mother. She's a hard worker. There's no one who works as hard as, you know, there's no woman that works uh, harder than her. She puts in long hours. She puts in evenings. You know, she's, a, she's amazing. But, uh, but she's ignorant too. She's ignorant on 
what's coming. She's ignorant on the reality of things. She's ignorant on what is possible. And she has lost confidence in me because I've been unsuccessful in my business ventures. Well, you know, I try to tell her over 99.9% .9 of people who try to do a startup, an internet startup, fail globally. Or do a startup period fail. Over 99% doing startups is expensive. It takes money. So, something I've never had is access to capital. I've never had access to capital. You know, I've always basically had a little money that I've been able to put in. I've never had 100000 or even 50000 or even 20000 or even 10000 or even $5,000 given to me by one person. So, this is my dilemma. And we're pretty much going our separate ways when it comes down to this, you know. Because I see, like I said, I see what's coming and I know what needs to be done. And that's the only thing that matters to me is the well-being of my family, my kids specifically.